Hello everyone and welcome to a really wild game that just happened in the Pro Chess League. I decided to show it right away as it, it deserves to be showed right away. Uh, it's India's 65th Grandmaster, Raunak Sadvani. Uh, I don't know if he's still the youngest Grandmaster uh, from India as India is producing Grandmasters at an alarming rate. Uh, but uh, he, he was, uh, so I, I don't know if he's still the youngest. Uh, at 14 years of age, uh, faces uh, Shahrir Mamedyarov, who of course needs no introduction. Uh, well, uh, that being said, let's check out the game. So, without further ado, uh, Raunak opens with e4. We have c6, Mamedyarov goes for the Karo Khan defense. Knight to c3, uh, we have d5, striking in the center. Knight f3 and bishop to g4 now. Uh, now uh, we have h3, asking black to decide whether to go back with the bishop or to give up the bishop pair. We have captures, queen captures, and now e6, closing the cage after the light square bishop has been uh, disposed of. Uh, and here d4, a well-known pawn sacrificed by white in this line. Uh, d captures on e4, knight captures and queen captures on d4, grabbing the d4 pawn. And here uh, the... The, the most played move is bishop to d3 here, but uh, Sadvani goes for bishop to g5, and it's really, it's not, not a new move, but it's only been played a few times, uh, already threatening some very nasty ideas, like rook d1 attacks the queen, queen moves, and rook d8 mate, so you have to do something about that, and the best... Uh, in this position is knight to d7. Knight to d7, there is one game where this was played and black was able to win that game because you uh, eliminate all the threats, then you're gonna go bishop e7, knight f6, and so on, continue continue developing, uh, and hopefully uh, one day enjoy your extra pawn. But here, Mamed Yarov, after bishop to g5, played f6. Now, f6 is a new move, so already as of move 8, we have a completely new game. And this is something that uh, happens quite often. Uh, even if you're a, uh, well, mem former member of the 2800 club like Mamed Yarov here, you sometimes think that you can play a move like that uh, <coughs> uh, and uh, get away with it. Uh, so here, rook to d1, continuing like nothing happened. Uh, the queen is under attack, and now queen captures on b2, grabbing yet another pawn. The bishop on g5 is still under attack, so bishop back to c1. And now, not uh, wanting to, to grab more material, uh, Mamidyarov brings the queen back into the defense. And Sadvani continues uh, his development, bishop to e2. So it's kind of problematic for black to continue development, you, you have to first clear the, the bishop and the knight. If you're gonna castle king side or if you're gonna castle queen side, you still have to get rid of this knight. So knight to d7, uh, and here Sadvani castles. Mamidyarov also castles, and now uh, it seems like uh, Mamidyarov grabbed two pawns, he safely castled, and he's now gonna continue developing his pieces. Uh, but not all is as it seems. Bishop to f4, and this move uh, will prevent the black king from uh, from looking uh, at some safer squares, so he's gonna be pretty much stuck here with this diagonal being closed. Uh, we have queen back to a5, and now comes queen to b3. Again, uh, with some very nasty ideas. For example, if black isn't careful, let's say you develop a knight, you already you get knight check, king moves, and queen captures on b7 mate, so you have to be, uh, be very careful. So we have e5 uh, blocking this diagonal, so now the king can move, but here comes another brilliant move by Sadvani, bishop to g4. Preparing uh, Morphe's uh, opera, opera game uh, maneuver, which is to, to give up the rook and then uh, bring the other rook over to d1. Also sacrifices the bishop on f4. Really, really amazing stuff. We have e captures on f4, but there doesn't seem to be a better move. So captures on e4. Uh, on f4, we have rook captures on d7, rook captures on d7, and now rook to d1, again attacking the pin piece. And now, uh, it's again very hard to decide what to do here. I, <clears throat> you can't really uh, go after the rook here. Uh, so f5 was uh, played by Mamidyarov. Uh, the queen guards the f5 square, so it does make sense. Also, it frees the f6 square for the knight. Uh, there was also the tricky line knight to h6, uh, but then white can just add another attacker, uh, and after, let's say, bishop to a3, now this rook uh, controls the, the back rank, uh, you have to give back some material. Queen captures on d7, king to b8, uh, and you get this position where... Uh, where where you, uh, white will grab on g7 and uh, well all in all is going to be better for white but extremely complicated. So th this was one of the ways uh, for for Mamidyarov to go, uh, but we have f5 here 
Uh, and okay, uh, the bishop no longer attacks the rook, but now comes queen to e6, and now adding uh, another attacker to the rook and uh, not caring about the bishop. And the point is, uh, if you capture the bishop, it's uh, it's game over. Queen captures, king b8, queen e8 check, king goes here, uh, and then queen, queen to d8 will be checkmate. So after queen to e6, we have queen to d8 adding, uh, well, another defender to the rook, but now just bishop captures on f5. Now you can just eliminate, and once again, you add a third attacker to the rook on d7. Uh, we have queen to e7, hoping to, to trade uh, trade away the queens, but now queen back to b3, keeping queens in the game. Queen back to b4, again offering a queen trade, but now queen to f7. And here Mamidarov is in trouble, uh, because trying to repeat with queen to e7 is just met with bishop captures on d7. Uh, with check, and now uh, the king hunt begins. King c7, queen to f4 with check, king b6, rook to b1 with check, king to a6, now uh, a very sneaky knight to c5 check, queen captures on c5, and the queen to a4 check. Queen blocks on a5, uh, and now uh, even feel free to pause the video in this uh, position that never happened, because it's a beautiful mate in three, so feel free to pause and find this beautiful mate. Uh, well, I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on finding it. It's, uh, it's a position you want to remember and a mate you want to remember. Uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's queen captures on c6. Uh, this comes with check. The king has no square, so you can either capture and this runs into bishop to c8 mate because uh, the rook covers the entire b file and the queen prevents the king from going to a5. Or after queen captures on c6, you can play b6, but then still bishop to c8 is mate, or you can block with the queen and then just captures, captures, and the queen to a4 is mate. So this is uh, the danger that lurks after queen to uh, f7 if you try and repeat. So Mamedarov goes in knight to e7. Now the queen no longer attacks the rook, but now it's time to capture. Rook captures on d7. Now threatening some very nasty discoveries. Uh, also just uh, queen to e8 uh, mate is in the position. So king to b8. Now you will be able to block with the knight, but it doesn't matter. Queen e8 check, knight to c8, and now rook to d8. Again, a triple attack on the c8 square. Mamedarov can easily resign here, but he uh, creates some room for the king. Still, we have captures king to a7, and now uh, to, to put the finishing touch, queen to d8, uh, taking away this square from the from the black king, and next move, whatever black plays, rook to a8 will be made. Uh, well, okay, you could prolong with queen b1 check, king h2, but then there are no more useful checks, so uh, rook to a8 will be made. So really, really impressive stuff. Uh, the the this bishop to g4 maneuver uh, really reminded me after this uh, e5. Uh, the bishop to g4 really reminded me of Morphy's Opera House game. Uh, so uh, I decided to name it uh, in so something like that. Still, still haven't decided what I'm gonna call it, but it will include the Opera House. Uh, as it's just amazing. Uh, Morphy, Morphy created his opera game at the age of 21, I believe, in 1958, and uh, Raunak Sadvani. Uh, well, okay, this is a rapid online game from the Pro Chess League, but still, uh, I, I, I do, I, I really enjoyed it, and uh, I, I'm very sure you, you, you have as well. Uh, and he created his one at the age of 14. So we'll see, we'll see what else happens. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's the game. Like I said, after uh, this um, queen to d8 move, uh, Mamedyar resigned, and a, a brilliant victory for young Raunak Sadvani. Uh, that's the game. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Johannes Broadwall, uh, Patrick Pogoda, Kenneth Wise, uh, Joseph Sar Sarkodi, and uh, David Arai for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of the Proc Chess Festival, checking up on the Pro Chess League, uh, continuing the Paul Morphy saga, and of course, checking up on your wonderful suggestions. So, thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.